355 million pounds is not a number that you saw on the side of a bus when Brexit was being promoted. Well, that is how much the UK, or should I say the British taxpayer, will be forking out to cushion Northern Ireland from the fallout of Brexit. Our Cabinet Office Minister friend, Michael Gove, told media last week that £200 million would be spent on a trader support service, a system to help companies handle new bureaucracy, yes, new bureaucracy, in order to move goods across the Irish Sea. This basically turns the government into a trading agent for businesses. An additional £155 million will be spent streamlining a digital process that is required by the new internal border that is requested as part of the Northern Irish Protocol. This protocol deals with how Northern Ireland is aligned to the UK Customs Territory and to the EU Customs Code. All of this was signed off by Boris Johnson, which he then went to Northern Ireland and lied to members of the Unionist community about. Formal customs declarations will need to be made for goods that travel from Northern Ireland to Great Britain. This is putting a border inside the UK. And of course, this is something the Brexiteers never talked about. When I said in the past that Brexiteers would throw Northern Ireland and the Unionist community under a bus, I never thought the UK taxpayer would have to fund the costs of muffling the sound of the wheels of that bus running over Northern Ireland businesses. Businesses will be obliged to complete customs, security and transit forms on all goods being transported to Northern Ireland. Can I test your memory here? Boris Johnson, a few weeks before the election in December, promised Northern Ireland businesses that they would not need to fill out any extra paperwork and that access to GB would be unfettered. This, of course, was a lie, as he knew right well at the time because he was contradicting his own civil servants. Well, the government offices turned out to be right. Northern Ireland will have more paperwork and access will not be unfettered. Michael Gove attempted to put on a charm fest when he attempted to ignore the issue and say that the government, and I quote, will update these resources to ensure that traders are ready for the end of the transition period. The support for businesses is to deal with this extra paperwork and is expected to be free of charge. The government here is, again, acting like a de facto agent for these importers. However, a number of issues still remain. When will the new system be up and running? Will it be fit for purpose? Will businesses be liable for mistakes or errors in declarations? Most IT systems, when first rolled out, are full of bugs and issues, so it's highly likely not to be running correctly for some time. And what happens between the end of the transition period and that time? Remember how all of this was talked about years before and was dismissed by Brexiteers as Project Fear? I brought it up many times on this channel. The Northern Ireland border would not be an issue. Don't worry, said Jacob Rees-Mogg, we will have an electronic border. The border will never be down the Irish Sea. Brexit will reduce red tape and bureaucratic waste. Well, today there is no electronic system. The border is down the Irish Sea. Businesses will need to start producing more paperwork than ever before. And it's going to cost the UK taxpayer to basically bail out companies in Northern Ireland for something that didn't even need to happen. Let me know in the comments section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. Why not become a Patreon and enjoy access to our Discord server where we share news, chat and have some fun. If you become a Patreon, you can also make video suggestions on topics that are important to you. Check it out via the link in the description.